quick. Give me your five favorite Zion Williamson offseason moments. Any offseason. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, let's talk about something. You must know that first, can't nothing and nobody fade what we trying to do and what we about to do. Second thing is, we got this game on our level. You understand what I'm saying? Welcome to another episode of In Space. I'm your host, Chris Connor, also known as Tony Two Sweaters. Shout out to um, the good people that support us here, man. Shout out to Fourth Dimension. Y'all ain't rocking with them yet, man. Please, please go ahead, tap in. You know, uh, I'm rocking with the packets right now, but you can go ahead and get the drinks, energy, endurance, sports, fitness, health, and wellness. All that is vegan, it's keto friendly, gluten free, all that, man. Tap in with Fourth Dimension. Um, and as well as Scott Vickner, if you heard, oh, like the number is right here. You know what I'm saying? They fight for the win. It's 504 500 1111. Um, and with that, man, hey yo, shout out to all of y'all that's that's been con- consistently, no matter if we drop as a as a group, you know, a show a day, or you only see us on Sundays, or you see us Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Shout out to all of y'all, man, that's, that's been in the comments, sharing the sharing the content, and been you know giving us our flowers, man. Like this, this y'all have made this all season a lot more enjoyable than maybe it has kind of deserved to be from a Pelicans perspective once again. So. Um, you know, man, y'all, y'all help make this kind of worth it in a lot of different ways. Without the engagement, you know, we just talking to ourselves. And that's what I'm doing right now. And it's not as great as y'all might think it is. But let's talk a little Zion, man. Um, wanna wanna give a shout out to um the Twitter, the Twitter group that I'm that I'm uh that I'm in. I'll be, you know, um jumping in, responding every every now and then man but just a just a good group of pelican supporters fans media you know content creators i don't know probably about 40 now but y'all know who y'all are but it's the the pelicans group chat as far as i'm concerned on twitter and y'all kind of inspired this man inspired this you know this this idea or this this video it was also going on on the timeline as well um and it's about zion's offseason visibility feels like this has been the most that I've seen Zion, but the bar is so low. And, you know, it feels like he's always trying, he's always overcoming something for an offseason or going into an offseason that, you know, you really don't know what to, what to take from it. Yeah, um, you can count him being visible for Jordan, uh, Jordan brand things. You can count that. I think for a few years or a couple years, you know, you had seen him. You could see him in summer league, or, um, sitting in the stands, like things like that. But feels like you've seen him periods where you were seeing him at um, last year tour. It might have been around this time and in, going into September, we started seeing him back at the facility and so on and so forth. You know, really working his way in into shape. But then this year multiple jordan events um there was some stuff that came out today with you know him playing basketball right? he doing some stuff with you know doing some dri- dribbling with his right hand and a little spinning motion i don't think it was you know necessarily break dancing sorry justin but but yeah it might have been justin that they put that out there but then he you know went, went into a dunk and then um posting up one of the players that were out there that were out there hooping and you know, doing that turnaround fade that we talk about being so important. It looked, you know, kind of smooth, like he had been working on it, you know, a little bit. Um, which, you know, you once the season starts, you sometimes got to wait a little bit for Zion to kind of, you know, do that. You know, it's just how it goes. But um, the inspiration of this show is around should Zion's visibility in the offseason even matter? And why does it matter? Does it matter to you? Um, do you care if you see Zion all over the place in different camps playing with other, you know, uh, other pickup players or working with other trainers or, or professionals or, you know, doing the things that we, you know, you, 
you're gonna see multiple training videos from Trey Murphy. You're gonna see uh CJ McCullum, you know, playing with Chris Brickley. You're gonna see different different Pelicans players and open runs, you know, and you know, stuff of that nature. It's just you know, these guys they create content, it's gonna be out there, it's gonna be visible. They like to stay visible. And while I don't think it really matters to me, I mean, I'm sure if I was Zion's agent or if I was, you know, part of his brand, I'd probably want to see him more. Or I probably w- would want him out there. But, you know, I wonder if, you know, for Zion, it's like, you know, why does it matter if I'm out here, if I still have things that I have not proved? We haven't gotten to the point yet because people don't view Zion the way that they may view they may view them in a few years, right? We're still trying talking about over. We're still talking about what ifs. So much of it is around health and you know weight and so on and so forth that we ain't really talking about success. So you're not talking about the fact we might talk about it here, like lo, uh, locally or people that talk about the team that are affiliated with the region. We might talk about the fact that he hasn't played a playoff game, but I don't think that that's a national um, narrative yet. But it might be at some point. It might be something that. I think Zion holds on to. But at the end of the day, um, no matter what, the less you see him, the more questions you always have when it comes to Zion. And I mean, I, I, I got to keep it a book. Part of that is on him, you know, right? Um, if you could believe or you could count on him not only being, you know, being being healthy, or recovering from from an you know injury in the previous season, or just taking care of his body in regards to his health and working on his game, and just feeling like that you just know he was gonna come in ready to play at media day, ready to play basketball like ahead of schedule, that maybe it wouldn't matter as much. You wouldn't care. Like you don't care if you see Herb Jones. You know that he's ready to play basketball today. You don't need to see C.J. McCollum much you know he's going to be ready to play basketball why does it matter with zion is it because he's a superstar or is it because he has a he has a superstar talent is it does it go back to the lebron james comparison what about zion and this is a question for all the other i want y'all to get in the comments what is it about zion to where people are drawn to how much they do or don't see him and how much of that is self-inflicted I think a good portion of it is it is on him, and I think he has to own that responsibility, and I think he has. But he has a chance to change some of those narratives. I mean, a lot of people have said positive things about, you know, uh, the shape that he's in, but I still think he has a little way to go. I don't think he's where um, he – I don't know needs to be, but I think he can be in, in even better shape than he was on the, the videos or if they were in the, Jordan, the latest Jordan event. I don't know if they were in China or Japan. But he can be better than that. And he has, you know, a month and some change to kind of make that happen. It looks like he's in he's heading in the right direction. i from the things that have been told told to me, I've probably heard more positive things about Zion on the side and from people that know than I have in previous years to where people didn't know. So if people were like, haven't talked Zion in two months, don't know. Or he's been working out here. He was at the facility and then he then he was gone and we haven't, we haven't seen him like or, or he's partying in Duke or, you know, whatever the case may be. This has been more of a quiet, but a very effective, it feels like, offseason for him. I think the next step is to see what he ultimately looks like once it's time to play actual bas- basketball, once training camp is here um, and what improvements or changes if any has he made to his game offensively um and some of that could have to you know could be used with um i mean i mean look there's a lot while we don't know who the starting center is going to be some something it could be him at 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 the five um or penciled in at at the five you know however you want to look at that no matter what there will be i think a bigger responsibility on him and those small ball lineups than they have been um in previous years but he does look to be taking care of himself a little bit more. But again, I keep saying it, and we've all said it. If the bar is here, you know, um, you know, at what point do we raise that level of expectation for a dude of his talent? 
this offseason feels like he's taken he's taken some strides towards helping correct and I guess reestablish where the bar is, but he got to be consistent with it. But I, you know, I just find it curious, man, that, you know, um, no matter what happens, whether um, anytime people go from a couple weeks without seeing Zion and some video is out, it's the talk of the time. He's just, dog, he's an instant hashtag. And I guess that's part of what comes with being generational. But it goes back to him taking care of himself, him doing all the different things as an individual that he needs to do, that he's talked about needing to do, talking about the LeBron, the uh, LeBron blueprint, so on and so forth, talking about what he needs to what he needs to do and how important health is health is for him and just being on the floor as a competitor, him taking care of everything um, that CJ McCollum would would attest to about being a professional in this league kind of answers all of this. And maybe we don't have to have conversations about or overblowing every single Zion Williamson highlight that comes out in the offseason. I mean, a, 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 a post fadeaway <laughs> in, a, in a, I don't even know what, what kind of uh, game it was, but, but, but a post fadeaway, a random post fadeaway in a t-shirt trending. That's the impact that Zion has. I'm hoping that he can add to it, bro. And I'm hoping that this is the year that, you know, he lays that foundation for like this offseason is, is is the minimum. It only gets better from this. I'm hoping that 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 a program is being set. And, you know, if it is, man, that's only, you know, that's only gonna be better for him. You know, what I mean, no more of him playing himself into shape, no more of, you know. Un, you know, unveiling different things that he's worked on later on in the year or, you know, him expanding his game or getting, feeling like himself again until different parts of the are taking a back seat. No. If you come in ready to go and you come in setting the example of what your, of what an offseason should look like just by work and condition, then they'll give you the keys to the car, bro. So, that's pretty much it, man. I ain't got nothing else for y'all, man. I just, uh, this will probably be my last show for the month um, of August, man. So I wanted to leave y'all with something to comment a little bit on this, man. So shout out, shout out to everybody in the uh, in the Pelicans group chat. Everybody on the timeline today that was talking about, um, talking about Z. And, um, you know, as always making it a good conversation as training camp, media day. And, I mean, before we know it, the season will be here, man. So, yeah. So y'all, yeah. Y'all let me know. Do y'all care about Zion's all season? What do you like to see? Would you like to see more training videos? Would you like to get a to, to get a better understanding of who he is? Should that matter? Is that any of our, you know, anybody's business? You know what I'm saying? Um, are you okay that he's private? Do you wish that he was more open about certain things? Or at the end of the day, if he, you know, if, if he comes in looking like the dude that ended last year. And is ready to go and 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 at some of the best shape of his life. Is that all you care about? Is it basketball or nah? Y'all let me know. Holla at y'all in a little bit. I sit here and I we zone out, you just dig, zone, and just man. appreciate how it came and thank God for the blessings. Mm-hmm.